Please keep. Wait, wait, wait. How could there be two Spider Men? There can't be two Spider Men. Can there? There can always be more than one Spider-Man, however, there's only one genuine article. Anyways, welcome back True Believers and all you spectacular Spidey fans to another really interesting Spider-Man PS4 related video. And in today's video, we are once again going to be fully discussing the really exciting upcoming comic book tie-in series to Spider-Man PS4 titled Marvel's Spider-Man City at War. Now again, if you know absolutely nothing about what City at War is, I have done a plethora of videos about it, but just to summarize it for all of you, it is indeed a comic book tie-in series that will connect to Spider-Man PS4, retelling the story in new and different ways. And with the first issue of this series set to release on the 20th of March, Marvel Games have continuously posted about it any chance there are updates relating to the series overall, as well as new variant covers that do relate to the comic. And just as a way so that Marvel could remind everyone, they did post on Twitter earlier today by stating, Marvel's Spider-Man City at War number 1 swings into comic shops on March 20th. The story of hashtag Spider-Man PS4 plus all new content comes to life in the page of this upcoming comic series. Written by at Hopeless Dent, art by at Michelle underscore Bandini, and cover by at Clayton underscore Crane. And even though we have already seen this art for the comic, I do think it is really cool with the additional Marvel Gamerverse label on the side of it, officially making it an item within that brand. However, since this comic does in fact take place during the beginning of Spider-Man PS4's base story, you might be thinking that you may not have to do any research prior to reading the book before you do dive into the City at War series. Whereas in all actuality, there there is one thing that I highly recommend every Spider-Man fan out there reads before you do want to fully immerse yourself within the upcoming comic. And of course, I'm talking about fully reading through the official prequel novel to Spider-Man PS4 of Marvel's Spider-Man Hostile Takeover. So yes, as you should all know by now, and hopefully some of you do own this yourself, there is indeed an official prequel novel that does in fact directly tie into Spider-Man PS4. And since the City at War comic will indeed be retelling the base story of Spider-Man PS4 along with some new perspectives in the narrative as well from Miles Morales and Mary Jane's viewpoints, I do think a great refresher course before you read the comic is indeed fully diving into the prequel novel. And even though I won't spoil the entirety of the novel for you guys in case you haven't managed to read it yourself, I will basically point out the highlights of the book so that way you go into City at War fully prepared. So in case you're unaware of the novel's timeline placement, Hostile Takeover does take place a few months prior to the main events of Spider-Man PS4's beginning. And during this point within Spider-Man PS4's universe, Peter is still working at Octavius Industries, however, this is before he actually managed to craft the advanced suit. And alongside of this first point, we do get a much more deeper look within Peter and Mary Jane's relationship throughout the entirety of the novel, and also get a clear understanding as to why they broke up in the first place. Not to mention that we also get to experience through this novel the first ever confrontation that Peter Parker has with Yuri Watanabe. And since we do see by the end of the Silver Lining DLC that Yuri is most likely on the path towards becoming the Wraith within Spider-Man PS4's universe, it is really cool to see that partnership grow first initially between Spider-Man and Yuri in the novel. And again, even though I will try to refrain from mentioning spoilers relating to Hostile Takeover, we do get some really awesome introductions to the Spider-Man PS4 universe's version of Blood Spider and Echo. So even though we do end up getting a lot of character development from both Blood Spider and Echo within Hostile Takeover, and their stories do wrap up within the novel, there could be a chance that we could at least have them referenced within the City at War story storyline in the upcoming series. However, the most important aspect of the hostile takeover prequel novel that does lead into directly the City at War storyline is indeed the relationship that Spider-Man has with Wilson Fisk, aka the Kingpin. So within the Spider-Man PS4 universe, we do know that Wilson Fisk is very much fond of Japanese culture, and the hostile takeover prequel novel fully explains why that is the case. And since the very first issue of the City at War comic will indeed showcase the Kingpin fight in full force, I do think a great way to refresh yourself about this character is to reread the prequel novel. And to finalize this prequel novel refresher course, one character that I really do hope they will showcase in the City at War comic is indeed Harry Osborn. If you read Hostile Takeover yourself, you should know that Harry was pretty much the middleman between Peter and Mary Jane's relationship between one another. And mainly every time Peter was having some relationship problems with Mary Jane, he could always rely on his friend Harry any chance he could and visited him during parts of the novel. So seeing what a great job Hostile Takeover managed to do 
do with Harry Osborn's character in a novel alone, I really think they could illustrate him further within the comic series of City at War. And who knows, by the time the last issue of City at War releases, we could possibly have a slight teaser to the potential sequel of Spider-Man PS4 within the comic. But until that time comes, and with almost a week until the first issue of City at War releases, I do think rereading the novel beforehand is definitely a good idea. Not only will you learn even more about Spider-Man PS4's universe through reading the novel, but you'll also be fully caught up with the game in general before reading the comic. And with all that said, everyone, that's the video that I have for you today, and please let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. If you read Hostile Takeover already, what did you think of the novel overall, and are you excited for City at War? For me personally, I think the author of David List did an incredible job of connecting a prequel storyline for Spider-Man PS4 into the main game itself. And given all the passion the writers for City at War have for Spider-Man in general, I definitely think that we are in for a real treat by the time the first issue releases. So if you're majorly hyped for City at War like I am, be sure to leave a like on this video, and until next time everyone, thank you all so much for watching, stay spectacular Spidey fans, peace out.